Welcome to San Miguel. It's time to explore the biggest city in eastern El Salvador. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> this city is hot, hot, hot. But luckily, there is a very cool place to cool off just outside the city. We're gonna take you there today, and it's gonna be FNA. <laughs> Can you hear the sounds of the city? <laughs> yes, you can. We've just arrived in San Miguel. We have some a little bit of work stuff to do first, so we're gonna head into this cafe. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> He's gonna watch Olive, and Paco can't come inside, unfortunately, so we're gonna try to get all this stuff done really quick. Okay, this we good. La limonada se la puedo hacer sin azúcar. Okay, si quieres ese. Si, okay, bueno. We're like good half the time, and then half the time we're just like, uh huh. It just depends on how fast it comes out, and if we're like really distinctly listening. And if you guys can't tell, it's a little bit loud. Yeah. Our little working breakfast was delicious. Everybody in there was so nice and sweet, and the food was good. It was really good. So good. So now we are gonna head more into the main downtown of San Miguel. This is a really cool area with lots of history and beautiful buildings, but we need to find a place to park the van. I think that we have a spot that hopefully we'll be able to spend the whole night. Oh, okay. old Alex, fingers crossed. <laughs> This spot was listed on iOverlander, but it was listed as a hotel. There's not really very many iOverlander sleeping spots in town. Hope that we can stay outside of here for the night. Los personas who para el internet se dice si es posible. It is not possible to camp here anymore. Apparently, when the people on iOverlander were here, they weren't renting these spots out. So now I guess these spots are rented for some of the businesses nearby. Um, so we cannot stay here unless we get a room, which is only $25 a night, which isn't bad, but Paco can't come into the room. It's really freaking hot. So we don't want to leave him in the van for the whole, like, you know, it's not great. We have found a secure location to park the van. We had to do a couple loops around the city to find it, but I think we're just a couple of quick minutes walk to the main event. Welcome to San Miguel. Founded in 1530 and almost destroyed by a volcano in 1655, San Miguel has become an important center for textile and business in El Salvador. Okay, a few things are immediately evident here in San Miguel. One. It's a very busy, bustling city. There's a lot going on. Two, it's hot as all get out. We tossed the lady at the hotel. We're like, is it always hot here? And she said, oh yeah. So, so far what we've experienced here in San Miguel is that everybody's really friendly. Everybody's been saying hello to us and smiling and uh, sometimes giggling too because we are the gringos here. And it's not that normal to see that many gringos here. Hola, buenas. Bar with the tight fade. The best way to explore any town in El Salvador is to direct yourself to the largest basilica. The Queen of Peace Cathedral, located here in the heart of San Miguel, is the perfect place to spread out and start exploring the city. Right behind us is the Cathedral of San Miguel, and right across from it is the National Theater of San Miguel, which is where you could come see a play. Right now it's under construction, so we can't wander around, but it looks pretty nice from the outside. The security guard was super nice. He saw that we were filming, and he was like, do you want to come in? And we said, okay, sure. Yeah. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> It's all under construction right now. Pretty soon you'll be able to get in here and go check out the theater. You can feel the cool breeze coming from the inside. It feels so good right now. First Gods of San Miguel, people are so nice. Like, if you're looking to do something nice, they're looking to help you out. So just remember that. Be nice to others. We just got ourselves a nice slice of pizza no. for 50 cents. On all the streets lining their way to the cathedral, you'll find tons of carts and vendors with all sorts of El Salvadorian treats. We went with a classic piña just to get some refreshing juice on this hot day. 
Paco really liked it too. And of course, there's something to satisfy every appetite, including an entire dual saves card. There's so many options, I don't even know where to begin. Tell me what your favorite treat is. That's what I want to know because I don't know what I don't know what any of these are. We asked the woman who owns the shop what her favorite was and she said everything. Which is <laughs> kinda of not helpful in making a purchasing decision. <laughs> Okay, so we're wandering the market now. We heard this wasn't safe for tourists, but so far it feels pretty good. It's definitely a little bit cramped, but you could probably find anything you need. The thing about the market is that there's like a sensory overload. The smells are very intense occasionally. We're in the section where there's a lot of dead stuff, um, which is super stinky. I'm just kind of like blocking it out. The other areas were fine. We've just definitely reached dead town. Cocoa con leche. Ah, okay. Hey, ese? Melon? Si? Eh, naranja? Quanto es? Una quarter? I think I got a quarter. Okay. 25. 20 pico. From this young? Si? Okay, perfecto. It's melon water. It's melon water. And it's cold. Water, That's the good And then stuff. you just like her? Find it? Juan, how do you? Yes, yes. Ay, 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 it's my first time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, sí. Okay. Muchas gracias. Oh, perfecto. Mm. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Oddly enough, the smells in the fish section are not as bad. It's just kind of like fish. And you're like, I know what that is. For me, it's that bad. <laughs> I don't like the smell of fish. Yeah. I don't smell the meat like you smell the Ooh, fish, I guess. I, I guess. smell the fish a lot. I don't smell the meat. <laughs> <laughs> On a hot day like today, you're just refilling with liquids. We just popped into a little tienda to get some ice cold beverages. And they're super cheap. The, both of these together were a buck 25. It's a good deal. The other thing that I've learned about San Miguel, you have to walk on the shady side of the street. Definitely. The non-shady side of the street is basically Hades. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for Paco, very necessary. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Kisses if you're doing good. Good job. She's got a maiden heaven over there. I'm over here walking in the hot spot just for you guys. Boy, am I glad we have air conditioning and it is cranking right now, as you can hear, because it says 119 on the dashboard. I think that's the hottest I've ever seen that temperature gauge go. It's because we're parked in the direct sunlight. San Miguel, you were great. But it's time for us to get somewhere else. We're heading just like 10, 15 minutes outside of town to something you would never expect. It's right outside a big city. We are just 20 minutes outside the city of San Miguel and we are so excited to be diving into this messy adventure because it is hot, hot, hot. Wanna go in? It is $2 per person to enter and you get this whole beautiful, natural looking swimming pool. We're gonna take you over to the coolest spot in this place though. But first, let's have a look around. Oh, there's so many little fish. I read something online that they like to eat the skin off your feet. Not mm -hmm. only can you get a wonderful spa treatment from the fish in there, but you can buy whatever floaties you want here. <laughs> and if you get hungry, they got hamburgers, they got french fries, they got whatever you want. For sure they have papooses too. Time to jump in. Paco's allowed in, but he's not allowed in, if you know what I mean. So he's gonna chill out here. You guys know Paco, he doesn't like to swim anyways. It feels amazing on a freaking crazy hot day like today. It's the perfect spot to come when it's showing 119 on the dashboard. <laughs> it's kind of the perfect temperature, not too hot, not too cold. It's like very relaxing. Barely. Come on, you want to go for a ride? Yeah. Come on, come on. It's prank. The little fish in here are totally eating out my leg with feet right now. Do you feel it? Oh just, my god, it feels so funky. I just had one get me too. I think you just gotta keep moving and then they'll stay away. Ooh. 
I can't do it, it's so weird. Very super surprisingly, it feels cold outside now. My nipples are rock. <laughs> up, up, come on, up, up. Good boy. See? Lay down. It's time to jump into a new spot. This spot is the coolest spot in the whole, this whole place. Let's just say C-A-B. <laughs> This is a perfect sound recording studio. Oh my god, we should do the podcast in here. <laughs> Would that be so good? So blue. It's here. so warm. It's so warm and blue. How far back do you think it goes? Yeah. Let's go find out. It's kind of creepy. You can't go any further than that? No. Why not? Because they hit the wall. I'm more than happy waiting for you guys. And you know, <laughs> you know who's even more excited? Oh, Paquito. Paquito. <laughs> sí. Those fries were super good. Oh my God. And the conversation with Salva was even better. We're going to be meeting up with him later this week, which we're so excited about. He was our amazing tour guide last time from Junco Life. Can't wait to see him. We we're really excited to take you guys around the rest of El Salvador while we explore over the next week here. It's going to be F and A. Thank you so much to all of our Patreons for making this El Salvador adventure possible. You have to walk through some bullets. Alex, I think you spoke way too soon. What is this? Oh my god. <gasps> Frank! Mm. Oh wow. That is so good. You never know who's going to be coming down the other way. <laughs>